Coffee has always been our trusty companion, helping us conquer those early mornings and late nights. But today, we're about to take our coffee game to a whole new level. Caffeine is a natural stimulant that belongs to a group of compounds called methylxanthines. It occurs naturally in various plants, including coffee beans, tea leaves, cacao, and cola nuts. Caffeine acts as a central nervous system stimulant, meaning it affects the brain and spinal cord, leading to increased wakefulness, alertness, and a temporary boost in energy. The ingredients we need are sodium carbonate, distillated water, dichloromethane, and of course coffee. The good thing is that most of the ingredients we need can be found at home except dichloromethane that you can order from a chemical supplier. Before we begin, I want to mention if you don't have sodium carbonate like me, you can easily make it from sodium bicarbonate. So first I just added a random amount of sodium bicarbonate because I will measure it later. Then I turned on the heating to 200 degrees and started to steer. The procedure is easy as that. After some time, you should see bubbles forming. I sadly didn't record my whole process, so you cannot see the bubbles in the video. After around 10 minutes of steering, it should be done. You can see in the reaction above that water is also being released from sodium bicarbonate, so you might feel the mixture becoming clumpy. After that, I very precisely measured 10 grams of coffee and totally didn't fail 12 times while measuring and surely didn't make a giant mess. I mean, who would even think that I would be so clumsy? Anyway, after this very not frustrating measurement, I decided to leave chemistry. Goodbye. Okay, I am just kidding. After measuring coffee, I measured 4 grams of the sodium carbonate we made before. Sodium carbonate increases the water solubility of coffee by reacting with acidic compounds, forming water-soluble salts. To a larger beaker, I mixed 10 grams of coffee and 4 grams of sodium carbonate we measured. I shaked them around a bit and then on top of that, I poured 60 milliliters of distillated water. I placed the mixture on a hot plate and turned on the heat. I also placed some aluminum foil on top of the beaker to eliminate water loss a bit. Once the mixture starts boiling, you should keep it boiling for 15 minutes. The mixture will foam a lot, so to prevent it from foaming over, just pick it up and shake it a bit. Next, I placed a filter paper in the glass funnel and poured the mixture in the funnel. And I think I don't even have to say what this looks like, but it is very disgusting. Also, while we filter our coffee mixture, we want to keep it as hot as possible so it dissolves as much of the caffeine, so I suggest placing the funnel in aluminum foil to stop the mixture from cooling. I do have to mention that I made a giant mistake. Instead of using regular coffee filter paper, I used a more thicker one, so the filtration that should take around 20 minutes took me a whole f***ing hour. As a cherry on top, I made, again, a big mess. And even the paper looks sad because of it. I decided to name him Bob. Anyway, I then poured the mixture in a separatory funnel and added 100 milliliters of water. Then I poured 15 milliliters of dichloromethane. You can see the layers separate at the bottom of the funnel. The yellow one is the DCM layer that has our caffeine. I very gently shake the funnel. Just remember to seal it off before you do this so it doesn't spill. It is very important to steer gently, otherwise an emulsion might form. Then I poured out only the DCM layer in a beaker. Also, the process we just did with DCM should be repeated three times first, using 15 milliliters DCM, then 15 again, and finally 10. Meaning just pour dichloromethane three times in the coffee mixture, then pour it off in the beaker. Also, I don't know why this liquid is so yellow but it is probably because of the coffee I used, so don't be scared if your DCM layer isn't yellow. To the liquid, I poured a little bit of saturated salt solution, but I was stupid and forgot that DCM boils off at 40 Celsius and my saturated salt solution was hotter than that. So DCM started boiling, and I wasn't wearing my mask DCM fumes aren't a fun thing to breathe. I did calm it down with some ice. Also, I poured too much saturated salt, so remember not to pour this much. Then I shake them around gently and poured out only the DCM in a beaker. Now we come to the final part, and that is boiling off the DCM. Remember to do this outside or in a fume hood, because DCM fumes are dangerous. 
so I placed the beaker on a hot plate again and turned up the heat. Remember to watch so your caffeine doesn't burn from the heat. After some time, it was done and all the DCM has boiled off. This is the final result. The yield is very small, but that was expected. I did the extraction two more times, so I get more caffeine and put it in this test tube. Please like and subscribe, if not for me. At least subscribe for Bob the Sad Paper. I mean, come on guys, everyone deserves to be happy. See you in the next video and goodbye.